Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video We are gonna be finding out if you can find Molly O'Shea in San Denis Before Miss Grimshaw actually kills her. Can you sort of give a warning? So I actually got a request from one of you guys to try this and I was worried at first because I knew I was going to need a save where I was back from the island of Guarma, but still in chapter 5. And lucky for myself, that's exactly where I had a save. Right after you sort of fend off the Pinkertons at Lakay, but before you go and find the Beaver Hollow uh, sort of new camp. So this was great. I had the exact save I needed to ultimately try this. Now, in case you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, at the very end of chapter five and sort of as chapter six begins, it's the final cutscene of the mission, that's Murphy Country. It's revealed that for the time being, Molly O'Shea is the rat and Miss Grimshaw sort of takes things into her own hands. How you get on, okay? Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah, he's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch, did you miss me? I found her drunk in San Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly, God, all my... calm down. I won't be ignored. George Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't even stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on <laughs> no, me. You're you not betrayed so now, me. What? Just calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Hurry, Your Majesty. You. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. Okay, so there was a couple of important things that you need to get out of that. Obviously, Molly was shot because she betrayed the gang. We know that it wasn't actually her, and she came back to the camp very drunk. In fact, Uncle says that he found her in San Denis. So that got me thinking, if we are in between this very specific time where the gang is back from Guarma, but before, that's Murphy country, I wanted to see if you could find Molly O'Shea in San Denis. So I wanted to look for a couple specific locations. The first was the Bastille Saloon. Now the reason I was looking here is because when Uncle returned to the camp, he stated that she was drunk in San Denis. So if you think about it, she was in San Denis. Beaver Hollow is like all the way up north near Roanoke Ridge. So that means that she would have had to have been super drunk in order to still be tipsy by the time she got to the new camp at Beaver Hollow. So logically, my first place to check was the saloon. So I went to the Bastille Saloon because remember, Molly O'Shea is a lady of high class and high society. So I'd figured that she would go to a saloon like this. And I checked all over the place, didn't find her. I even like sat down at the bar to see if I could get some conversation with one of the barmen or just a random person to come up to me. Maybe it would have been Molly, who knows, but that didn't end up happening. Uh, really, all this did was give me the opportunity to take a bath and then ultimately sleep a little bit. 
Now, there was one other saloon that I technically could have checked in San Denis, but keep in mind that during this time, Sadie Adler is at one of the saloons. She's also at like the super rundown saloon that you can actually go to, uh, Doyle's Tavern, apparently it's called. I wouldn't assume a, someone like Molly O'Shea would end up at a place like that. I, you'd think she would go to the more high-class saloon. So I don't think she's going to be in there. Number two, we couldn't even search in there because it would trigger a mission. So I was trying to think of some other places that Molly O'Shea might end up being. And I was thinking to myself, if you're very drunk, where might you end up? The first place I thought, other than the bar, might be the police station. You know, if she was causing a racket, maybe she was thrown in jail. So when I went to the jail for the first time, I legitimately thought that the chief was going to tell me about Molly because I walk in the door and I, I see a line of dialogue started. But it has to do with bounties instead. So unfortunately, that didn't lead to anything regarding Molly. I then noticed there was this massive like wall of photos uh, towards the left. And I'm pretty sure this is unrelated to what we're trying to do today, finding Molly. But it is cool. There's so many recognizable people on there. Like you can see Elias Green. You can see Mr. Black and Mr. White. Uh, you can see a lot of the bounties that you're trying to catch in game, as well as a bunch of bounties that you don't have the option to catch in game two. Like Anthony Foreman is on there. You can see him in sort of the top right. So I was looking on this wall maybe to see if Molly O'Shea's photo had been on there, but it looks as if this wall was more reserved for, you know, wanted criminals, not super drunk ladies that are lost from their camp. So after checking out that wall, I went through all the different jail cells in the station and she was not there. I think there was only like two out of the four jails that were filled up. So again, a little bit disappointing, but I started to think, where might Molly O'Shea go if she was here? Keep in mind, she's going to be super drunk and probably super lost. So I was thinking, where would a drunk person go? The park, perhaps, somewhere where they could lie down and rest. I checked the park. I wasn't able to find anyone in there, at least that resembled Molly O'Shea. And then I got thinking. Okay, Miss O'Shea is a lady of high class, high society. Maybe she was getting some new clothes. So what I ended up doing is going to the tailor. But what happened is I ended up getting robbed. Take a listen to this. Hey, I'm sorry, stay. mister. My mistake. Please, no! Oh, you bastard! Or hey, I think that fella might have just picked your body. What's your problem? I didn't do nothing. Getting away from history, you fools. Stop now, damn it. This man's crazy. Money or your life, you choose. All right, all right, damn it, you got me. Here, it won't happen again, okay? Just a bit of cash, that's it. So I had no idea that that was a thing, that apparently you could get robbed by a random passerby or if you decide to go in a store like this, but apparently you can't. But Miss O'Shea was not in the clothing store and she was not buying any new clothes. So I was starting to run out of places where she might go. My last ditch thought is maybe she went to somewhere like the theater to catch a show or something along those lines. Because remember, Uncle found her. You also have to keep in mind places where uncle might visit as well. But unfortunately, again, didn't find her there. So I think it's safe to assume that you just can't find Molly O'Shea before that event because we know she's not at camp. She's not at Lacay, and we know that she's obviously not there at the start of Beaver Hollow. So I guess they just made her character invisible and you're just supposed to assume that she shows up in San Denis gets super drunk, talks to Agent Milton, even though we know that's a lie and that she didn't end up ratting out the gang and that that was actually Micah who did all the talking. So it does beg the question, why would she lie like that? I've talked about that in previous videos that she probably did it to hurt Dutch uh, more than anything and to sort of get revenge on him. But really all it did was keep Micah in the safe for a little bit longer. Now what's also interesting is after that happens where Molly gets shot by Miss Grimshaw, like the camp will have a very unique reaction to her getting shot. Uh, take a listen to some of these encounters right here. You're a nasty woman, Miss Grimshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that 
beady look in your eyes. You're drunk again. Well, Marty, and Arthur. you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. Morning, she Arthur. was in love. You sour-faced old crow. God damn you. Murderer. Murderer! I did what I had to do, Mr. Morgan. Perhaps. You okay, Reverend? Yes. I will say a prayer for Miss O'Shea. Say a prayer for all of us. You okay? I guess. I didn't really know Molly so well. Thanks for your help. Well, securing this lovely spot. How you doing? Poor Molly. I don't believe it. Oh, she knew the rules. Hi. So, here we are. Can't believe that bitch Molly ratted us out. Yeah, if she even did. How you feeling about Molly? I'm feeling she got exactly what she deserved. That's what I figured. You okay? About, uh, Molly and everything? If she ratted on us, what could he do but look at this place? No. Just hang in there for now. Molly, I don't believe it. I should have cut her loose months ago. Well, let's get settled into our new home, I guess. So it seems as if not everyone had a super high opinion of Molly, aside from maybe the ladies of the gang. I mean, Bill doesn't really say anything nice to her, nor does Charles. Dutch certainly doesn't, and, you know, Ms. Grimshaw doesn't either. So it's really just the other ladies of the gang that show really any sympathy at all. Maybe Reverend Swanson too. But anyways, that right there is what happens if you try to find Molly O'Shea in San Denis before Miss Grimshaw shoots her at the beginning of chapter six. Unfortunately, it doesn't look as if it's possible, but it was a fun experiment. I'm, I'm pretty sure I checked every probable and possible location that she would be at. But as always, if you feel like you have something to contribute, let us know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.